Um, okay, um, here's uh, something I bought probably about six weeks ago, a couple of months ago. I haven't really had a chance to use it, just um, got it delivered and um, yeah, and been put away until sort of today. I did try it last week with some soft stuff and it didn't perform very well, badly. I just made a big mushy mess. But um, I, it, that wasn't really a true test of it, really, I don't think. Um, today we've got this sort of stuff, more tree sort of stuff. and. It's doing an alright job. See in there. It's up quite nicely. Um, so um, I did start to go on there, but I think I want to distribute it over there, but it was sort of piling up there a little bit. So this um, is the Titan Pro Beaver 1500. Um, sort of a lot of um, the chippers nowadays look quite like this, um, but just badged differently. There's um, uh, I've kept looking at the LTS one. Um, so the LTS 1500 as well, much the same. I don't know whether there's any difference much at all. Um, this has got the life and 15 horsepower engine, which does tend to run a little bit lumpy. They might, I find they all do that a little bit, but I'm not sure whether this has been sitting outside a while because you can see the paint has sort of um, lifted a little bit in places. So I don't know whether it's been set outside, so it possibly could have water in the fuel or something. I don't know. Uh, it's when I buy things, it says they've been serviced, but. Very rarely have they been serviced properly, if at all. So, um, yeah, it's got the emergency stop on it there. Um, yeah, like I said, it's got the, um, the Lifan 15 um, horsepower engine, Titan Pro, it says on there. Um, it's basically a Honda copy. I have got a Honda engine, 13 horsepower, which is basically the same sort of thing as this, which, if I wanted to, I could put that, make it Honda if I wanted to. But at the moment, this engine runs all right, apart from, well, it starts now, okay. It's just, I think it needs the fuel drained and new fuel in and the carb cleaned out. So, um, yeah, it shoots, uh, it's the older type one, which shoots um, just one side. I think the newer ones, well, I'm sure the newer ones, they swivel around. That's not really a problem, to be honest, I don't think. Um, the, the funnel bit, that's not too bad, but that is quite heavy when you take it off. So, and to store, I have to take that off, so that's a bit of a yeah you can do it you can lift it okay but it's quite heavy and um, just a couple of bolts under there like so and that one and then it's just on like little pins and the same there um it has got a, i haven't brought that with me it's got a bit on it um what will connect to a quad or a ride on lawnmower so you can tow it around i'm uh, quite impressed with the wheels the wheels look like they're just um sort of um been put on you know no bearings or anything but it's got proper bearings behind there so the wheels have got proper bearings i think on this particular one i think the clutch is sticking because when i pull it over the the drum moves and that, that shouldn't i think it's i think the clutch is stuck um so i might have to have a look at that i will check the belts in that anyway and i will give it a service my own service not relying on anybody else's service but um these are i think these are about two thousand odd um, new so they're not cheap cheap but obviously they're not the cheapest you can um cheapest you can get um there's um i think the lts one was out 1100 and something and then they do smaller engine ones which are sort of five six hundred pounds i wanted the one with the beefier engine and it's sort of eating through this stuff um very easy and um, when you watch the videos they're a bit deceiving like titan on the titan pro thing it's shooting it out you know like basically vroom, straight across but i find it's not doing that um it could be because their throat was slipping back a bit so I ain't got full power or it just could be I've got the wrong stuff or it just could be yeah they got basically perfect stuff to make it look the best it could possibly look but how it's um, doing it it's doing it okay I think um, I want to try and do an honest assessment of this um, but it's early days um, in my ownership so as time goes on I'll get used to it more yeah so it's early in my ownership um, and yeah I'm quite impressed. Um, I don't expect them to work miracles, but um, you know, you want to do the job they're supposed to do. Um, yeah, you can see the it's chipping out nicely. The drum is nice and clean. There's nothing clogging up around there now. Yeah, um, we'll um, get some bit more bits cut, pulled up, and I'll give you a bit of a demonstration 
of it in action. And um, yeah, it's going to make a light work of the stuff today. So I better get cutting. So I'll show you. It's <laughs> Um, so just about finished this job now and um, just a uh, final review of this um chip chipper this um titan pro beaver 1500 as you can see the um air filter cap off and the belt covers off the problem i had was buying second hand again some people say um buy cheap buy twice i buy cheap and have to repair um people say a service like I said earlier and it hadn't been uh, what happened it was going okay and then the heat shield of the exhaust come off and that melted into well a little bit through the plug lead and um also in the covering bit of this a bit so when it was running it was running really really poorly like it was choked up it started off okay but um as a so well uh cut a long story short it was miss it was run like it was on choke so when I took the air filter off um it ran well it ran sort of perfect then so whether it was sucking in sort of exhaust fumes which through the bit that melted like the cover bit there was like back there of the hole it could have been doing that and that could have been what was playing up anyway i took it off and it ran a lot better and it chipped a lot better and everything then um so yeah a lot of that isn't down to the actual machine it's down to sort of poor maintenance the belt did come off a couple of times um probably due to that engine running too slow and it was struggling too much because it was just all running like it was choked so um that's only happened once and i can adjust them a bit tighter as well so um i will and i shall get a spare set of belts as well but um over here is what what it chipped so it chipped well it chipped quite nice but so yeah quite pleased with actually how it performed in that um, in that way um one thing i noticed it had to do sometimes but that was before the engine was running um sort of at its proper speed what it should be running at when it was running choked i had to undo them bolts and tip this every so often just to um empty the cloggy bits to be honest there should be a system on it anyway that does that because i'm sure even if these are running well they do clog up i can't i can't see their sort of I think they got their flaws, but it sort of did what it had to do, really. So, out of 10, um, probably because of the day, because of all the little problems, 5 out of 10. But to be honest, actually, um, the way it chipped and everything, I'd give this probably a 7 out of 10. Um, so, when it's up and running, I'll fix it, and I think it'll be sort of 7 out of 10. I don't think it's not a miracle machine. It won't chip up everything perfectly and everything, but I think, um, yeah, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Um because a lot of the time it was running, it was running too slow, and I think it, that's when it was struggling. So yeah, um, brings me happy with it. I bought it quite cheap, so um, I'm gonna have to sort out bits and pieces. Probably buy a new exhaust. I could weld it up. But I'll probably just buy a new exhaust. I bet they're not too expensive. I'll have a look when I get home. And yeah, um, it will be okay. What I needed to do. So it made light, light work of it when it was working properly. So it will probably be a, an update on this one. But this was just my. Um, initial reviews after the sort of first time I've sort of probably used it I'm gonna have to sort out them a few issues and then I can give it a proper run so in a way it's a little bit of an unfair test but at the end it was working once it the effort off it's working much better then and so yeah that was sort of the true way I think it, it's sort of meant to work so yeah I'll give it a seven out give it a seven out of ten I'm reasonably happy with it but like as per usual I buy things second hand and people aren't totally honest with, with, with me so I would have to land and repairing them. What other people 
suppose uh, their idea of a service, if it's even been done, is not my idea of a service. So, um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this video about the review for this Titan Pro Diva 1500. And yeah, there'll be some, I'll be along with some other videos again soon. So thanks for watching.